Okay, I came here. It's uh, one, two to one. The police are all over the place. They, uh, they turn around. They, uh, they were told to have a meeting with Brian Kenny and Bill Fraser and all the police to get ready. So, uh, I saw, I thought it was natives, they had a meeting with natives, but no, it was, I don't know, they looked like one rough character, but to have all the police cruiser to stand by, that's pretty far-fetched. They have the guns, they have the taser. So anyway, when I was standing there, there's a couple, guy came and talked to me, so I don't know who he is, and then we'll find out. Everybody has problems these days. Quit smoking. Do, uh, quit smoking. Quit smoking. Quit smoking. Drink water. I've been trying to quit smoking for like two years. Five years for me. So where are you guys from? Ontario. Ontario. Whoa. I'm gonna watch my attitude. Got an idea if you have uh, if you're from Ontario. You're from you're both from Ontario? I've been here for four years. Four years? Yeah. What's your first name? Sean. What's hers? Fern. Fern? Yes. So you just arrived here in Fredericton? Yes, two months ago. Ah, two months ago. Do you like it so far? What's your name? LeBlanc. Charles. 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 Uh, I told you I'm, a I'm a pain in the arse. A pain in the arse. I just look for uh, stories. That's, there's no justice. No justice. Well, Charles, I'll you, tell you my story. You better speak louder with the wind outside. Speak louder with the wind. Okay, Charles, I'll tell you my story. How's that? That's good. You got... Got 30 seconds or less. 30 seconds or less. Bottom line. What's the point? Bottom line, the world's full of assholes. Bottom line. That's true. So where do you live here in Fredericton? On the street. On the street? How come? Because I was, uh, had a disagreement with somebody at Gray's house. That, That's the woman's shelter? Yes. Okay. That did not want me to be with Sean. With John. Yes. So you're not allowed to go out with the opposite sex when you're yes. in the woman's shelter? Can you imagine that? There must be a bunch of lesos over there. Uh, I was, I was going to say that, but I'll leave that, leave that well, to you. Well, I mean, for somebody to change the rules on a piece of paper the way she did and thought she could get away with it, she must be some kind of a lesbian. So you're not allowed to uh, have sex uh, with the opposite sex when you leave leave the house? or? Well, you're not, they don't want you staying out all night. Oh, night. Yeah, that's right. There's a curfew, right? Yes. What's the curfew? 10 o'clock? But the thing is, there was no curfew. In the rules, there was no curfew. I've, I stayed out three or four nights, and she did not have a problem. No problem they at all? She only had a problem when he came to the house, and they told him to stand back. And I said to him, that's the sidewalk. They can't tell you that you can't stand on the sidewalk. It's a woman's shelter. You know they must have rules, right? Yes, and I read through the rules. And when I read through the rules and confronted her, she changed the rules right there. So I took a copy of one set of rules, and she made up another set. So where are you living now? On the street. On the street? Yes. Yeah, we had a problem at 72 Region. Oh, 72 Region, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Debbie. Yes. It was full of bugs. I wanted the bugs cleaned up. What kind of bugs we're talking about? We're talking about bed bugs. There's bed bugs, 72 Region? Well, yeah. everybody knows that, don't they? I thought they, I thought they, they got rid of them. No. Still there? Oh yeah. Well, they sprayed, and I think it They've got been worse. There for years. So what are you guys gonna do? What uh, do we wanna do? I don't know. Everybody keeps giving us what the we, What I'm going to do is make them do the thing that they should be doing, and if they don't do the thing that they should be doing, then I'm gonna release the thing that I'm going to make them do. And it's, it's gonna go like a vicious circle, Charles. You sound like somebody has a quick temper. Uh, I sound like somebody that has a quick temper. You no. don't like bullshit. Pardon me? You don't like bullshit. No, I don't. No, I don't. Mm. When You're like I me. You don't like question, bullshit. Just give me the answer. Mm -hmm. Don't give me the answer and then flip the answer a second later. So what's the bottom line here? What's the bottom line? Mm. When I phone somewhere, if there's an apartment for rent, sign the sheet, get it filled out, let us go and get uh, on the system the way they do it around here. 
let us get into the permit. How they do in Ontario? How do they do? You know what? I've never had to live on the system in Ontario, but I'll tell you one thing. I had uh, people that I was put with in a family that uh, was on the system, and they collected a lot of money. Even when it came to me collecting baby bonus, I got a bare minimum, I think it was $27, and they were getting over like 200 and some dollars for their kids, and I was getting the bare minimum for mine, and I was working. So to me, that was discriminating against my kids because that money could have went in for their education. So where, where are you going to be in? Instead of bingo and drink. Where are you going to be in two things. weeks from now? Where am I going to be in two weeks from now? Where do you think you're going to be in two I weeks I better be now? in that place. Where do you think you'll be? Where do I think I'll be? Can't go no shelter. You got no money. You got no place to well, live. Well, maybe I'll be taking a seat in this uh, town and running it right, Charles. How about that? The what? Maybe I'll take a seat in this town and run it right.